Hello, my name is Birgit Lam. I am the country director of Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom, Pakistan office. And I've been here in Pakistan nearly two years to the day. And uh, just a week ago, uh, my colleagues from the Pakistan office sent me as a gift um, to my anniversary. They gave me a big metal box in truck art design. I said, because I love truck art so much, it's a very typical uh, Pakistani thing. And they said, um, when you leave Pakistan, you will always remember us and this box will not break. And uh, I put it on my head and said, yes, next time I will move. I can even move Pakistani style, like what the humble people do. They put everything on their head and then they move on. And I really appreciated this gift uh, because it was something very typical Pakistani and it also kept my um, situation as a long-term traveler in mind. And I was really very happy about it. And I think this um, truck art gift also reminded me, of course, of these great trucks which roam the whole country from north to south, the whole travel experience. and. Um, this is something which is very much a part of myself and um, it's also uh, a part of um, what Pakistan is about. Uh, and this amazing amount of people who with very humble means uh, try to move this country, whether they roam on their little red bikes or in these beautiful trucks. And uh, today in this festival we are talking about the River Indus and rivers have always fascinated me. My, I myself come from uh, a city on the River Rhine, which is the life archery of Germany. It's more than 1,000 kilometers. It starts off in Switzerland, touches various countries until it goes into the North Sea uh, in the Netherlands. And um, rivers have always been the lifeline of people. I know only very few cities in the world that have not been established or founded next to water. And at the same time, there's something very special about rivers because they are not separating people. In fact, they are connecting. They are connecting in terms of trade. Um, they provide livelihood and uh, they also provide cultural development. And that's an amazing thing. Uh, which I found is very true uh, for the river Indus as well. I mean, for Pakistan, it's practically the li lifeline of a whole country, apart from, uh, let's say, scattered populations in the vast spaces, which are the mountains or Baluchistan. Uh, the main population is all uh, concentrated along the river Indus system. And um, in these two years, I had the opportunity to uh, travel along the country, although COVID, of course, uh, gave some extra challenges. And I was able to uh, visit the northern areas and see the young, energetic river Indus, uh, how it is full of energy and white foam when it gushes through the very narrow, rocky, exit parts which are the valleys um, near the Karakoram Highway and coming from the Indus Valley and there the color is white and you have turquoise and it's very energetic in a very rough environment and I think that also uh, reflects the people who are there humble people um, very friendly with closely knitted societies but they have an amazing um, cultural sensitivity and uh, they have uh, developed their own embroidery, their own songs. And um, it's very different from when you come uh, to Peshawar and the um, KP Plains. So I also remember uh, that actually next to uh, the town of Ghazi, I was able to swim in the river Indus. And there the color had completely changed then it was not the white foam and the turquoise um, gushing young river anymore, but it was already much wider. It was very serene. It had um, a black profundity and there were um, green pastures and the cattle were grazing there. And of course, uh, the whole farmers, um, they depended on the river Indus for 
keeping their fields and their cattle and their livelihood. And the culture had been different, people looked differently, their faces were different. And then you move on and you come to the southern parts, you come to Sindh and suddenly you have a desert experience. Colors change from dark and green to yellow and brown. And uh, the river Indus is practically the only part where you have greenery around. So you also see uh, the river brings life. And again, people change. Uh, people are darker, their clothing uh, changes. And people here are incredibly poetic. And um, they have a proud Sufi culture uh, with a different um, music and also um, their oral traditions. Uh, which again is like a development, uh, it gets more settled in a way, also more mature, more philosophic, until then the river Indus near Karachi goes into the Arabian Sea. It provides the livelihood of the mangroves, where all these beautiful animals, the sea animals, um, have their cradles. And then it goes into the sea and the cycle of life and of the water uh, starts again. And I feel that's a very beautiful symbol of life uh, itself for a human being. It's um, a cycle of cultures. I mean, the Indus Valley civilization is one of the oldest in the world. And even whoever attended a history class uh, at a German school and paid attention to the class will know about the Indus uh, Valley civilization and how these people made use of irrigation, of water, and the high standard of living they had. And that's um, also one of the big messages um, that uh, I have learned during life here in Pakistan as well, where you see how rough nature can be and how important water is, uh, that we should celebrate water, we should take care of it. Um, I've seen it, how hard it is for people to make a living and at the same time, I've also seen how people use water, but also how they abuse water. Uh, I've seen um, the big barrages in the northern parts, and I can understand that people uh, would need to use water to generate electricity and make the best use of it. But at the same time, exactly this idea strips the river of some of its uh, most important powers, which also means it brings fertile sediments and fertile grounds to the farmland. And in the end, whatever we do, if we don't have water, if we don't have food, we cannot survive. You can survive without electricity, but you can survive without water only for two days. So caring for the river, I think this is a moral obligation which we need to have in order to care for ourselves and for our families as well. And at the same time, the river is more than just livelihood because it's the foundation of culture. It's the cradle of culture, not only in Pakistan, but in the world. And this is also why Friedrich Naumann Foundation has last year started a whole set of panel discussions on unity and diversity here in Pakistan. And our message really is this diversity is an incredible richness for this country and the treasure that needs to be preserved and which needs to be supported and enhanced. Because I feel this is going to be the asset that will make Pakistan and the world survive. And the river Indus and also the wonderful cultural experience you have here in Pakistan along the river Indus is not only for you, it's a heritage for the whole world.